Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video, we will be studying about fiber optic cable. So fiber optic cable is a transmission media that uses light for transmitting data. So let's see how a fiber optic cable is composed and how it transmits light. So the center of a fiber optic cable is made of a glass core. And this glass core is the one through which light actually travels. So we have a sender and we have a receiver. And the sender sends data in the form of light into this glass core. And this light travels through the glass core to reach the receiver on the other end. So now the center of a fiber optic cable is made of a glass core. And this glass core is surrounded by a glass cladding. Now the glass cladding has a refractive index which is lower than the glass core. And this keeps the light inside the core. Okay, So this keeps all the light inside the glass core. That is why it is important for you to know that why the refractive index of the outer cladding is lower than the core okay to keep all the light inside the core itself and to avoid any light from escaping outside now the cladding is itself covered via a thin plastic jacket to protect it from any kind of physical damages okay now multiple fiber optic cables are grouped together in bundles and each group is protected by an outer sheath. This is also a kind of protective covering that is provided to the group of fiber optic cables. Now let us see how uh, the fiber optic cables actually uh, compares with respect to a copper cable or other transmission types. Let us understand what are its advantages and disadvantages. So coming to the advantages, the first advantage of a fiber optic cable is that it has a higher bandwidth than copper. So a larger amount of data can be transmitted as compared to any copper based transmission media like twisted pair cable or a coaxial cable. Okay. Further, it fiber optic has lower attenuation. Lower attenuation basically means that it is less affected by noise. So the data is not garbled during transmission. Further, not affected by corrosive chemicals, power surges and magnetic pulses. So again, other kind of external factors also do not affect the fiber optic cable. So these are all the advantages of the fiber optic cables. They are very much protected against external factors and they have high bandwidth as compared to copper cables. And the last point is that they are very thin and lightweight. So they are very easy to carry and transport and use for laying down the entire network. Now coming to the disadvantages of fiber optic cables. Now fiber optics get damaged very easily if they are bent too much. So this is one of the disadvantage. Also the laying down of a fiber optic network requires trained engineers and that is why it becomes a little costly to set up using the fiber optic cables and the last point is that light is unidirectional or transmission through optical uh, optical signals which is light in this case is unidirectional so if you need to communicate from the sender to the receiver and also from the receiver to the sender you need to lay down two different optic cables okay so this was all about fiber optic cables please let us know how do you find this video also let us know which other topics would you like to study from our channel thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam